Hi, I'm Kay, and in this video we will solve this problem. 500 internal server. This is a general uh, error message. So we, what we are going to do is to get the real detailed errors so we can know what uh, we should do. What you have to do is I have an account at GoDaddy. So, but this problem could be anywhere so what you are what you're going to do is uh, go to the hosting settings whatever they are in your account and go down and check custom error documents okay you have to make sure you know your root and your root is right after this is saved you go to your root in my case hdocs royal then i i'm going to create a new file and name this file web.config like this okay then i'm going down and choose to edit this in your editor you can edit uh, you can create and edit the file in your desktop uh, at your editor too it's um, uh, it's the same then just upload it I'm going to do it this way, then add this code. I'm providing, uh, I'm going to leave this code at the description down below you, so you can get it faster. Then just press OK. Wait until it's load. Then just go to your page and refresh so you get your error. In my case, it's a simple access denied to the database. But in your case, it could be anything. This is all for this video. Have a nice day. So what I did is what we have to do is to deactivate the plugins via the database. So I have a website or this website on the GoDaddy. What I did is I pressed after uh, going to the websites and domains, I pressed on the database, then go to the database okay let me do this again after pressing a database you choose your database and go to web admin so in my case it's this one 